Okay, so today what I want to do is to work on resources again, basically, but not the resources themselves, the display of resource information. I fixed the bug where uh, uh, selecting unloaded resources would crash, uh, but like I still want to, I want to update this to properly display, like, I want to update the resource display system for I'm GUI so that A, even if there's nothing there to actually to display, it'll display, you know, it's like unloaded and give you the option to load as well as to go through um, just. I really also really, really want to update how I actually go through, like how the data is organized or how, sorry, how the functionality, the functions that go through and determine what to call to display what types of both resources and their associated with the create info. So if I look into, I believe it's simulation, libs, I am GUI, registrar, in here, something like that. Yeah. So what's happening is this is being called by something. If I can find it again. I need to actually display something. Let's display that. Great. I go through the call stack. I'm here. Here. Okay. The I am GUI resource list, which is part of the, the bring up application still, says, okay, display resource. This is displaying the resource list and then like each individual resource that I open through that original table. And it goes through. So this is for an individual resource. And it goes through, it like gets the ID, it gets the editor name, if it exists. Then it goes into here, which is a simulation uh, I'm GUI function. And it says, hey, please display this resource ID. Here's the simulation so that you can retrieve the information. I don't really think this belongs here anymore. Because, well, quite frankly, like why? Well, actually, this may actually still belong here. I'm not really sure if it belongs here or there. But the big thing that I really do not like is that if I go inside of here, for each, rather than having like a, um, like a hash or table where it says, oh, it's this type, use this function. I'm going through, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just passing resource ID, the simulation, and a function to display the create info data. I'm assuming it's the same type or something. I don't know. Hold on. What is this? This is this. So A, only if the resource can be displayed, can the resource create info be displayed. And I imagine, I guess it's assuming if the resource type is this, that it's assuming the create info is the exact is of the same type and displays it that way. Okay, so I need to do several things. I need to split up the display of the resource from the resource create info. That's one thing. I also don't really think like what do I use simulation for? Just this and this. The only reason I have simulation in these other libraries, such as the physics resource, is to be able to get the resource data or the resource create info data. That it's not great. I really shouldn't need it here at all. Maybe the registrar, I'm not entirely sure. But I at least don't need to pass simulation into these functions. Like what I should be able to do is at this point, just, you know, I should be able to, since this is already in the simulation, the, here, extract the resource handle. And if it exists, then go into this function and just pass the resource handle or not the handle. Maybe just the data, like figure out the type, use that to figure out the function to use, if it exists, and then call that to display the information, and then iterate through each of the, the, the through the pnext chain of each resource, and just do that. And then do create info separately, since, again, they, they're no longer one-to-one -one tied anymore. So that's, that's a number of little things to do. So to begin with, what I feel like I'm going to do first is, uh, 
I'm in here. Okay. First off, I want to do what I said. So what I'm going to do, and this will apply to create info later. Ex no, here while I'm in the simulation library, and I already have information about simulation. Ex figure out the resource handle and use that instead. So um, resource equals pro resource pool get. Do I just not have? Uh, pool find. There we go. P simulation resource pool. And I don't actually have it. Okay, it's just probably not. Yeah. Simulation. Simulation. HPP. That gets me the subtypes of that. I have the resource ID here already. That's great. And then I need to do like if resource is null, then I display something else. Do I have I'm GUI here? No. Okay, I'm going to bring in I'm GUI for this. I'm not on a permanent basis, just that, like I have uh, an in intermediate step between like what I currently have and what I eventually want to have. I want to move I'm GUI stuff out of here because this is just supposed to be the registrar. This is just registering the functions used to display certain items. And then down here, it'll just pass things through. This would actually more, more uh, likely actually belong here, which I actually already have simulations. Why don't, why don't I just do that here? And just, yeah, just pass in the resource. Yeah, okay, hold on. <clears throat> Let's do that here. Uh, display resource data could be this stuff. And then I would have afterwards, like, display resource info data. So it's MP simulation. It's the resource ID that I have, which is this. I don't actually have the internals of the simulation here. No, I do. Oh, simulation state. Else it does something. Okay, I need to... Ah, I'll just do like I'm the text. Not exist. I'll save that something like that. Option to load resource. Otherwise, I want to go down here. And this is going to be where I put uh the function okay so there's this this is the basic information on each resource so that's the type which is the integer the state you know loaded unloaded loading failed the ref count and use count that would make sense to be here and then it would go into um render all the other stuff so get that rid of that um just kind of Add O resource dot H. That I should not require that here anymore. Yes. Okay, so that's one. Let's see if I can uh, remove it from the other locations too, because I. Like, all the other types are probably going to have it, like, here, yeah. For graphics, yeah, this is a terrible... This was... How, why did I think this was a good idea? I must have just been off... I must have just been exhausted when I did this. Let's get rid of those. That's the create info. I'm not going to touch that quite yet, so let's kind of reduce that to that. The bring up application, we do that. Okay. So, 
What should happen now is if I F5 this, debug. If I hit a thing which isn't loaded, yeah, resource handle does not exist. And I'm still going to... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Uh, this is... So this information is still going to be... Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> the resource uh, handles are increasing because I am get, I'm, incre I'm incrementing them because I've got a handle, but I'm not uh, releasing the handle after I'm done with it here. So for uh, resource decrement rep count of resource. So that should mean it's actually going to be correct now. Uh, for the shader. Sorry, the non... Yeah, this. Three. Why would it be three? One, two... Oh! I should let go of it before I'm actually done with it here. Or before... Ooh, right. I want to update this so it's actually the, the count besides the one that was given for this. Minus one. Being used for display purposes. Okay, so that should be two, not three, or whatever. Four. What was it? The shader, right? No. This. Two. Great. That's correct. Because this will be used by non-boned mesh vertex shader. The two models. The two models are going to be using this, right? Or the two vertex shader? Vertex descriptor. The two vertex descriptors. So we've got the non-boned uh, mesh VD. And this one? No. This one? Yeah, no. I don't know who... So I'm assuming it's... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be correct here. Or rather... Yeah, because if I was to reduce this... If I was to decrement this before, then that would mean right now it's down to one, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Now, I do need to decrement that by one. But I still want to hold on to the handle, make sure it doesn't destroy itself until after I'm done with it here. Okay, and then it goes ahead and displays all the information. So let's uh, remove that. That's already been removed. Where is the one for the bring up? There it is. Great. This is the resource list, which is where I'm adding this stuff instead. This doesn't need I'm GUI here anymore. This also doesn't need simulation here anymore. Get rid of that. Goodbye. That's great. This is that. That's great. Okay, and then we're back down to closing everything so I can actually get a clean space. Down here. Okay. I also kind of want to do the same thing here for the create info. So let me do that real fast. Resource create info equals fo. How would this work? Because I have, how did, hmm, how does that work? Actually, when I go into here, somewhere, how did it, how did this work? I would go into create info, display resource create info, I'd go into here. I would already have it. 
because inside of here, right? Uh, I would vertex shader. So it's going to go through that. That's not the one I care about. Graphics resource, okay. So we're going to go through, it's not the image type, it's not the material type, it's not mesh, it's shader. Okay, we're in here. It would get create. Right, whatever. Whatever. First off, it would do, okay, I need this. I, I want to move a lot of this stuff out of here, realistically. The, okay, one thing at a time. It would go create info and would say, hey, Simulation get resource create info. How does this work? It calls that internally. Okay. Easy enough. We're going to do that here instead. So I'm actually control Z that. There we go. We do this. We say, hey, myself. P simulation MP simulation state. Give me the P data resource ID. Oh, it's one of those types. And return it in this, please. Thank you very much. Does this return anything? It does. I'm going to presume that post success means it... Or, yeah. Otherwise... There's literally no otherwise. Either it succeeds or it fails. That is not great. Dot value equal to success. Ah, you know what? I'm just gonna. If this equals full null handle. Then we would do something where we just say re, uh, create info does not exist. Otherwise, we go into the thing where I would where I do MP registrar for display the create info, and I do actually have the create info resource PI right here. Okay. I have no idea. Like, I really cannot fathom how I came up with this other, with whatever the hell is going on in there. This is going to display the create info, right? Oh, and then I need to, if it exists, then I need to decrement, decrement the ref count of the source BI. Um, and I want to also actually, while I'm here, inside the function where's this that's what matters i have that then i have a separator then the rest of the data it looks like so that's how that would work i don't have that here i am gooey uh just create Info. Got that. Decrement info resource. Create info. Decrement ref count. That would also mean that this needs to go ref count is that minus one. Or display purposes. Otherwise, just type in that. Is that really all I have? Uh, yeah, basically. The reference count and the type. And then the data, of course. Which would come out. Up, be displayed afterwards. Through the separate function. Okay.
Let's see. On uh, okay, I want to see how this looks. So on a type that definitely does exist and has the information, this. Uh, please, no, I don't care about this anymore. I have this stuff, and then this is the create info down below. And then this is the stuff that would be added on. <clears throat> okay. So that's good. That's great. So let me find the other locations where this exists and strip it out. Because it should not be here. This and this. It's not going to be here. Oh man, that be that needs to be a completely separate function though. Right? How does this work? How does okay? Shader. I do this, I do this display stuff. This okay, where does where does this go? Where does that go? Um nope, don't care about that. Where does it go? Open that up, show me. What is this? It didn't take me anywhere. Why, thank you. Hmm. Okay, no, this is... This, okay, this is this empty function, which would then call into this. So why don't I just... No, I already do do this. So what is the point of this? What was I doing? Okay, just cancel that out. Right. Uh, cancel both of them. Keep going. Okay, the resource center does not exist, then this is the create info. Which is a little broken. I'll get I'll get back to that. Hmm. Okay, no, this should make sense. So we would have this, and then we would have this information? We'd have a separator, then I need the... I decrement, I display, I decrement. That does... Collapsing header, this is what I'm looking for. If... Kind of what I, I I'm going to do here. Else, if that then that would mean I get to remove this entirely. Reducing this to just that section, which is, of course, also about to go away. In fact, this whole function will go away, because all I really need is this call with by and passing in the data. That's it. And assuming it's loaded. Hmm. Create info, it's gone. Create info is gone. Well, I'm just like, this resource rework is just really ripping out a lot of code that was just never really required. I was just too, like, I, I guess I just couldn't see the forest for the trees kind of thing. 
um, situation. Rip that out. Resource list. Physics. Here we go. This is gone. Great. Okay, I'm not going to open that. I'm going to open the image. Create info. It's there. So I need to kind of do the same thing for the data side. The Yeah, there's no resources in there. Mesh material. Mm-hmm. Okay, way, 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 way better. So got that. I want to do... So else if data the resource would be there but we still want to put the, the if data separately like that display the resource and then whoop decrement the count afterwards So that's a physics thing, right? Yeah. Collision shape. So do a comparison between uh, the shader. No. One that's loaded. No. One that's loaded. This one. So we've got two things, and we've got the test collision shape, which has that instead, which wasn't very useful. Okay. Graphics resource, libs, I'm GUI source, registration. Okay, let's just rip out this. So at this point, I don't even really need I'm GUI itself either in here. That doesn't actually need to be included over here. Do I need create info? No. Do I need the registrar still? Yes, I still think I need to register the functions through. For the moment. That will be changing real soon. So that's that. And we go back to the physics one. I remove that, so let's get rid of I am GUI. Get rid of the create info. I'm not sure about simulation. Do I need it for that? For the moment, I need it for that. And then finally, in the bring up application down here. Okay, I need something that's actually loaded. Thank you. Data, okay. Can I get something that's a bit more interesting? No. No. Yes, data, wonderful. Data, <clears throat> create info, blah, 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 blah. That's great. So then, what I want to do now it just really is just rip out all of those useless functions now. And I just want to be able to just register this for this type, call this kind of thing and pass in just the raw data. So I don't need simulation in here. I would. Okay. So this function is registered. How, how is this called? It's called register elements through this. Okay, I have 
several things. Resource create info, resource function. What is this? This is for I'm GUI. Yeah, yeah. Did I already remove bits of this that I don't need? Function for component types. Hmm. I'm not in entirely sure what I use using this for. Display functions, match function list. Okay. Component function. Give me this. What, what, what did I use this for? Okay. Uh, let's make sure I register and deregister correctly. Okay. Display entity. Okay. This is for entity stuff still. It's, this, it's just that this uh, has no entities, right? So if I go to the physics, that should have both. Yeah, physics component, physics resource, and resource create info. Okay. Do I have anything that does whatever the last thing is, the loader? Uh... Do I presumably okay? This presumably this would have been for future expansion where I'd be able to like look at the stats of a loader, but I just never implemented that. So, one thing I probably really want to do is change this up. Because, again, like I said, what I want to do is I want to change from just, like, iterating through all the functions to find the one that has the type to basically have, like, a map, almost. I'm not... Maybe not. Pa just pass in the date. Maybe I just change it up so that this... Maybe I just simplify it. I won't remove it yet. I'll just simplify it to take in, not the resource ID, but just the faux resource type itself. It extracts the type. Or it passed. No, it can't be the resource itself, because like I, if I'm going through the P next chain, that's not going to work. I okay, I need the, I need to pass in the data, and from the data I can derive the type because it's the the first element of the resource base, and from that I can determine if I if I can do any of these. Yeah. Okay, and that's actually another thing. I need to make sure that I'm only going to render ones that are loaded. If the state is loaded. And that. Oh, I could just, yeah, I could still just do it as one. What am I doing? Ooh, that's not so great. Make it a bit clearer. That. Ah, just make it even clearer. Just add the uh, things. Okay. So I'm assuming, yes, it is loaded. So then I just need to do that. I just need to do that one check. Slowly simplifying everything. So that's that. I need to do the same thing on physics. Mm -hmm. And then on the bring up. Stuff. All right. Let 
Fantastic. Now, I need to ch update. The, okay, in here, the register of elements, I need to change this. So it doesn't take any of this. It just takes in... Void star or... that which is not found here include source that is it found in there yes resource function takes in the faux resource base the raw p the raw data the raw data that's what that takes in so this is just going to be that's how this works Resource data equals that. Uh, I need to extract a resource type equals p resource data of type r type. We're not doing this anymore. Just want to say, hey, if this equals that, then just pass in that something like that yes yeah, that's, that's a lot closer I'll take it so kind of let's just copy that bring up registration simplify all this to just that this complexity is just gone Uh, you know, I don't even have to, right? I just don't even have to do that. I just need to say, hey, you know, uh, cache this locally and compare it a bunch of times. Simple. I don't even... Do I even really need... I don't need simulation anymore, right? That's just gone. Or not. I still need it for components. I'll get rid of them soon enough. Just not quite yet. So there was that. Back up to not simulation. Physics. Is this only the one type? And then finally up to the interesting one, which is up here. The graphics resource. So Do that. This our type a couple times, and then this is replaced with this. So I don't even really need. Do I even need oh resource uh, resource pool? I don't need that. And I don't need the resource header either because I'm not actually calling in any of those functions or using that handle anymore either. So that's gone. Resource, that's gone. So I can really, really uh, start moving a whole number of things. Isn't that nice? Okay, back to the resource list. This is going to go into display resource, which is going to be... I just want to pass in the data, the data right now. So that is... Just this. Doing that, that's what this is. That's what we're passing through. Wherever the hell this is declared in here. 
right about there. Drive and set data to be displayed. That's it. Okay. Since uh since resource type is part of that, that's great. That's already kind of simplified like that. So we do that. We go back to here. We go back to the resource list because we're just passing in. Oh, resource. Get data of resource. This is going to be expecting it to be like this. Compile that. See how it looks. Does it break? That is the question. No, it does not. Fantastic. That's great. That's nice simplification of all of that stuff. Now, can I do the same thing for create info? I don't really, I mean, is, no, again, because like if I change it to a map or a hash, yeah, would actually make sense, because what I want to probably do is I want to have more flexibility, okay, whatever, that's that, so what I need to do here, if I'm going through this, I need to do like, this equals that. So again, I need to go through the PNX chain. While P resource data not equals null pointer, I need to do this where I go through, I pass this in and then i say hey you know p resource data equals p resource data next make sure it's that type create info doesn't have chains like that will it it might, if I want to have like a model and I start like making modifications to it and I want to save that information. Ooh, yeah. But right now it doesn't, so I won't bother. Is there anything else I need to do for this part? Just a lot of reduction. Simulation. Close everything, close everything. I got out of those two. Resource handle does not exist, does not exist. No, that makes sense. Hmm. Registrar simulation. Do I need simulation for anything else? Yes, I do. I need it for this. No, I don't. I just pass it through, don't I? I do. I just pass it through. Okay. I just need... Nope, I need it for that.
This is for that, but this other way has been reduced. Uh huh, that. Mm, rigid body pool type depths. Yeah. How, how does this work? Hmm. Component. I'm not entirely sure of that. Uh, display resource data. Display this data. It goes into the registrar. <sighs> okay, hold on. First off, it's compiling. That's great. Is there anything else I can really do at the moment? Hmm. So I really do want to do something about, like I said earlier, the registration of the registrar, the registration of these functions. This can probably be changed to like a hash rather than, I'm not sure if it'll be faster to, I mean, it probably will definitely be faster to do the hash or some sort of list, do a binary search through, through that to find the function rather than just going through functions blindly. Plus that gives the ability for, yeah, okay. I've accomplished a lot of what I wanted to do tonight, this session already. It's been, what, maybe almost 50 minutes. I did a bunch of things, a lot of cleanup. I think I'll kind of call it there for now. Think, sit, and ruminate on what exactly to do next. Maybe, uh, and then uh, come back with something interesting next time. So until then, cheers.